She kept plugging. Hi, we're here at the Pendence Film Festival. We're with Francesco and Rob. Thank you guys so much for talking to me tonight. Thank you. How do you feel about being here? This is an exciting event, first year. Yeah, it's exciting, especially because we're uh, we're tied in with Pendence as we just uh, jumped on to the feature yeah. intersection shooting in the new year. So we're pretty excited about that, and uh, just the whole hype behind the festival, Pendence itself. I'm excited. Now, sir. Oh, sorry. Rob's been putting in a bunch of work, and it's really exciting to see so many talented film makers bring in their films here so absolutely now tell me how you guys became um, uh, got involved with the intersection in the first place uh, I, I came across it I was I think I came across it online and someone actually tagged me in it I went in for an audition which happens quite often for mm -hmm. a particular role and they asked me like no 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 can you please stick around and shoot for something else because my head I need a new headshot but uh, yeah I auditioned for um, the stuck around audition and um, we're playing best friends yeah. so I hear Francesco wins can be good yeah how did you get involved uh, I actually found it online um, and I applied for it and I actually auditioned for his role uh, and then they brought me out and they thought that I was perfect for his best friend and then we went in and we did a, a reading together and it just everything clicked it went really easy and um, felt like we've known each other for a long time yeah. so we feel like we can pull it off definitely yeah now have you guys worked with Rob before or is this the first time first time yeah, first time for me. first time yeah. very cool and now we're going to duke it out over the roles he stole your role you might have wanted his role we need to fight over oh, it or no, what no 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 best friends yeah. we're all good we'll, 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 we'll do some shots from there yeah we'll love that. <laughs> okay so we're going to do something a little different because you guys play best friends in the film yeah. for 20 years in the film yeah. uh, so we're going to ask you some fun uh, questions they're just supposed to be quick and simple I'm going to ask you questions about him you're going to answer questions about him right. now if you get them wrong, you just got to guess it and do the best you can. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Francesco, if Rob were to go out on a date with any female actress in the entire world, who would he choose? Margot Robbie. Accurate? I like Margot Robbie, yes. Yeah, okay, a... close enough, fair enough. Who would it be, if any? Uh, Holly Berry is my girl. Holly Berry. Oh. Oh. How did you not answer that one? That's like everybody's answer. Okay, if Francesco was uh, stranded on a desert island, yeah. he has three items that he can bring. What do you suppose he was going to bring? Uh, his G-string G bathing suit. You know, he wants to get that nice tan, Italian olive skin, right? Um, a female companion. Of course. Of course, yeah. right? One more. Bathing suit optional for her, maybe mm -hmm. no bathing suit. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do you like how he doesn't give you food or water? No, no, no. He knows me really well. So. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hitting job. it so yeah, far. Yeah. Everything, everything <laughs> right on the nose. Yeah. Uh, number three. Gotta give him, uh, a little bit of rum, a little bit of rum, like, uh, you know, parts of the Caribbean, Johnny yeah. Depp, you know. That's good. Give no. me some liquor, a beautiful woman, and you probably give me my G-string baby suit. I'm perfectly yeah. fine. Love it. Are those three what you would answer? Yeah. No, that's exactly what I would have yeah. answered. Yeah, yeah. He knows me pretty well. Yeah. Okay, I was told that we're not allowed to use a rum. We're not allowed to talk about alcohol. Oh. In my secret bud that I have in my ear right now, he told me that. So give me another third. So he's on a desert island. He has what so far? A bikini? A naked woman with him. We didn't say who the woman was. Third object. We gotta go to the cannolis. Yeah. So Italian pastries, yeah. right? Yeah. Just because he's Italian? Yeah. Yeah, I always need a cannoli. Yeah. Yeah. He knows me yeah, you know, he's pretty pretty spot on, yeah. Almost like you guys are best friends already. It was still that was my next option, yeah. Exactly. Love it. Yeah. Okay, if um, Rob were to have a superpower, what superpower would you give him? I don't know. Uh He's already got a superpower in his mind. Yeah, I know. I could see his, his yeah, eyes go, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think he'd have super strength. I don't know. Agree? I kind of already have that strength. Yeah, that's true. That's why, yeah, he's a big guy. You know? He's working Super, super it. strength, okay. Trying to get it now, you know. Um, now, what would you say then? Francesco would have it every time he would touch a lady oh she would she would automatically just fall in love with him yeah. oh that doesn't already happen for you in real life mm, i'm working towards it sometimes you know yeah, yeah. yeah. I set you up Brad, yeah. okay just by looking at him wine or beer Go. oh beer beer reggae or rock rock accurate yeah. love it i love that you guys participated in this this is awesome so good luck with the filming in february i hope it goes well and i can't wait to see it <laughs> next year it's supposed to be coming out in spring summer ish yep. uh one last question though mm -hmm. about your characters what exactly drew you to your particular characters mm. 
I love that Al, um, he has a very rough past, mm -hmm. um, which he tries to overcome, and he, he's done the work to, you know, to, to better himself and grow and kind of put that behind him, but until he gets involved with his sister and his family, and I have three little sisters at home who are my, my life, my babies, you know, I, I, can, I know that. I, I, I relate to him so, in so many ways in the past and then bringing it, bringing it home, you know. Yeah. And is this something that you, uh, typ a typical character you would usually play, or is this going outside of the box for you? Um, I think I would more play his type of character. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a little different for me. Um, and so, and to the fact that I don't always have, I don't have it all together. No, and you show my vulnerability and my weaknesses, and you'll see. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, yeah. a, be an interesting challenge, right? How about your character? Uh, I love the the writing. Uh, Rob and um, Aaron have crafted these two amazing characters, and Frankie is he's somebody who knows exactly who he is, um, and he's got this conflict inside of him. He's he's in between two worlds, um, but at the same time, he's a protector, so he's always there for Al. And I, I really like that that he fully he's confident in who he is, but there's something underneath that he keeps hidden from everybody else. Um, so those two worlds conflicting, and I think, I think that's really interesting, especially in the relationship itself. Mm. Now, did you draw on any specific life experiences or someone that you know to uh, have those elements of your personality come out for this character? He sounds pretty complex. Yeah. Um, not really, no. I mean, uh, more it's a uh, like accumulation of different people that I've that I've met, and uh, I like that. I don't not one specific person, but uh, a few people in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys break a leg. Thanks for talking to me tonight. Have fun at the festival. Thank you. Oh, do you want me out? No, you get it. Do you want just them? Yeah.